Alright guys, in this video we're going to show you a uh, Tiger Moth fuselage that we're uh, getting ready to spray. Uh, the first thing you're going to see is uh, spraying the last session of poly spray. Uh, the fuselage has already been shot with the first session of poly spray. Uh, we wet sanded. Um, after wet sanding you clean it up and put it back in the booth and you shoot your final cross coat of poly spray. After you do that, then uh, it's pretty much ready for for the top coat. In this case, uh, the airplane has uh, is basically two-tone. Uh, it's got a paint scheme with a cream, uh, Diana cream, I believe. And then it also has um, a blue, uh, insignia blue is what we used for this video. Um, the owner wanted to spray polytone Diana cream. He wanted a semi-gloss finish, but then on the blue, he wanted a gloss finish, so he decided to go with aerothane. And I'll show you here on the video, um, once we're done with the poly spray, We'll spot spray the polytone cream. Then we'll mask for the uh, for the layout uh, and get ready to shoot the blue. All right, so the poly spray is pretty much done. I did the final cross coat. You would let that sit and uh, you would let that sit. If you shot it this morning, you want to let it sit till the next day, and then it's ready for. Uh, for the spray coat of polytone. Um, if the book will tell you that if you get to it pretty soon, you can shoot the polytone right over the poly spray. I'm I'm a big believer of uh, scuffing, so I actually just take a Scotch spray pad at least and scuff up the area where you're going to shoot the top coat or paint over the poly spray. So here on the video, it, it shows you, I already got my first coat of cream. You can see that I'm only doing a section and that's because that's the only area where the cream is gonna be at. There's, uh, it's not necessary to spray the entire fuselage with the cream. So here's the second coat. You know, the first coat's always a light coat followed by two wet coats. So what you see here is a second coat going on of the polytone Diana cream. Once you shoot the cream, uh, that's also going to have to sit. Uh, before you mask onto fresh paint, I would recommend letting it sit for at least 48 hours. So once I'm done with the cream, I let two, get, two days go by. Then I, uh, I mask off the area like you see here here on the video. Once I mask it off, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wet sand the area where I'm gonna shoot the blue, especially cause where I stopped the cream paint, you know, it's gonna generate overspray uh, on the rest of the component you're spraying, in this case, the fuselage. So you can see here on the video, I'm wet sanding, getting that area smooth, cleaning it up, then I'm going to go ahead and mask, really mask off um, the cream because that stays cream. I'm not going to be touching that. You can see here uh, on the video, the belly and the top of the fuselage is what uh, goes in aerothane blue. Here we have our mixing table. We got the products we need. We have a mixing cup. There's our paint, aerothane, our guns ready and our guy is also ready so he's gonna go ahead and make sure he uh stirs up the blue use the proper products to mix the paint that you're using in this case aerothane he's got a mixing cup that tells him uh the mixing ratios and there is the reducer um, for the aerothane once he's got that in the same cup you're gonna go ahead and stir it up uh you're gonna uh, give the paint about 15 minutes uh, they call it an induction period 
So you give it 15 minutes of induction and then you're ready to rock. The uh, mixing ratio for aerothane is three to one. Okay, so what that means is three parts paint to one parts catalyst and then you add the reducer to that. You can uh, reduce anywhere from 25% to up to 50% of catalyzed paint. So once you mix your paint with catalyst, then you do the math for the reducer. So let's just say we're gonna reduce 50%. You're gonna go four parts, I'm sorry, three parts paint, one part catalyst. That's gonna give us four parts mixed into one can, right? So the if you're going 50% reduction, then you would do two parts of reducer. Okay, that's 50% of a total of four parts once the paint is mixed. Okay. So once again, mixing ratios are three to one and up to 50% of catalyzed paint. Once the 15 minutes have gone by. We are ready to go. So here, um, when we start spraying the blue, you can see the, the first coat is definitely a light coat. A lot of people talk about a fog coat, and you could do a fog coat. We tend to go a little heavier. Um, you can see that he fogs on the paint, but he goes right back over it and gets it a little darker. So we do a light coat not necessarily a complete fog coat. Um, after that light coat, you uh, open up the uh, gun, get a little more paint out of it, and you do two wet coats. So we recommend a total of three coats with any top coat, whether it's aerothane or polytone. Once the third coat is done, um, you want to try to unmask the airplane um, as soon as possible. You don't want to do it too quick because uh, when you start unmasking, if the paint is still wet, um, you know you can touch the paint with the masking. Also, um, if it's too soon, sometimes you can't unmask and get a nice crispy line some of the paint is bridged over the tape so it'll you know tear up uh, it just won't work doing it too soon so really um, after I would the, the soonest you're gonna be able to do it would be about six hours um, after the paint job and that's uh, that's if you're dealing with about 65 to 75 degrees in temperature if it's colder than that you're gonna want to give it you know eight to ten hours or so uh, you also don't want to leave it for too long uh, just because the tape could leave an imprint on your fresh paint so uh, once you're getting ready to mask mask prep paint and then on mask uh, uh, if I had to give you guys a, a, a real time frame, I would say after eight hours, uh, you're ready to unmask. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. You saw the first coat. Once again, we'd go around and do a second and third wet coat and we're done. I hope you liked the video, um, click like, subscribe, and uh, check out our next videos.